on location at Edrington, the property at Berwick Lord and Lady Casey called home for many years. The house now owned by developers is the location for the final scenes of Jeff Burroughs and John Dixon's new movie, Free Enterprise. Starring John Blake, Mark Hembro and Nicky Coghill, the movie traces the adventures of two young men from the tough bayside suburb of Port, who come unstuck when the hot container of toys they pick up turns out to be the wrong one. And whatever's in that container uh, makes another group of people quite homicidal about its return. The chase leads through Turak to the 60th floor of office block to Mr Big himself to Mr Big's country retreat which is here where the final climax of the picture takes place. been mayhem taking place around the house as, uh, as the two boys and their friends from the district, the Port District, uh, come to rescue another member. And uh, the people inside the house take exception to it and open up with a fusillade of uh, all sorts of weapons and a fairly large gunfight ensues, uh, which echoes all over the neighbourhood, of course, even though this is partly in the country out here. And uh, somebody calls the police special operations group and they come in to... Uh, finish it all off. John Dixon believes as far as Australian movies go, this one is different. It doesn't reveal any deep social problems or our purpose on earth. Uh, it, uh, it's a thriller in the thriller genre of um, action adventure and uh, a little bit tongue-in-cheek about society in general. The two male leads who starred in the television series Anzacs, Dixon believes are great screen actors. We chose them for these energy qualities. Now they're, they're, they have a screen presence, both of them. I play a guy called Dave Williams, who is a, uh, an ex-race car driver who runs a motor mechanics business in cohorts with this young rock and roller. And that is a front for their activities, which take them a little bit outside the law. And these two guys get involved through a, a comedy of errors uh, in corporate crime and political and bureaucratic corruption and intrigue and ends up in a big climactic shootout here. So where do you fit into all that, Mark? <laughs> oh, I'm just a dreamer who uh, believes in free enterprise, I suppose. Both John and Mark see this year as a turning point in their careers. We were working on a show that, that was being made well. We had the opportunity to play the roles in it. And also we're working on this picture with Jeff and John. Who, uh, we were a great production team, very um, personalised with their cast and the scripts they're dealing with, and they, they spend the money and time to make a quality product. Free Enterprise, which has a budget of over $6 million, is being promoted as an action thriller comedy set in that least explored landscape, the great Australian city. The cast reads like a who's who of Australian film and television actors, and if the burroughs dixon partnerships track record indicates anything, Free Enterprise is likely to be a box office success. Julie Foster for Good Morning Australia. The biggest challenge for me was becoming a soldier for the series. But luckily, before the shooting commenced, we had a two-week workshop period, which was basically a military reorientation exercise so that all the actors could become familiar with the weapons involved, military etiquette, uh, how to give and take an order, uh, battle formations, etc. And also, we were given lectures on how specific battle scenes that the series deals with were staged both geographically and strategically. So I was very lucky, as all the actors were, to have that period to become adjusted to the life of a soldier. Keep the line! <laughs> 